whoops. So I wasn't going to make a video about this, but I just learned that the Dog Days actually has drops that you can kind of get. So I'm assuming that you get it by getting score in the Dog Days event. So basically how many kills you have equals how many points you would have. So I had like 150, and I'm going to go back to my screen to show what I had in the thing. And I bought 150 for the Dog Days emblem. So just actually I had 190. I lied. So I had 190. I spent 150 on getting the Dog Days emblem. But you go to see this and you go to the CAC, you can basically get a bunch of stuff. You can get the beach color palette. You can get the Dog Day emblem. You can get a couple, a couple of these mods. Well, I'm assuming you can get these mods from, like, I think actual Rathoom. So if you have been missing out on some Rathoom's mods, you can get these mods for her. Also, they got some roller fruits. So they got the rucksack, the tropical, the carnival, the sunrise, the roller, regular roller fruits. Uh, Dog day scene, that costs a thousand. So you have to probably get around a thousand points of kills to get that. So that's probably what people are going to be working to. And then the sigil costs 600. So that's a little tiny, tiny update I wanted to bring out about the Dog Days event while it's still here. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be coming back every summer or not. So if you really want to get these items, I suggest you start going to play the Dog Days event and go and grind out the points so you can get them things in-game. Okay, that's all I really want to tell you guys. And uh, yeah, bye. Also, a note I wanted to ask if if you didn't know by now, you can get four different things from the rewards being the Redeemer Abyssal skin, the Hydroid Relay scene for Capture, a Nago statue for Hydroid, and a Orkin Reactor and a Stratos emblem. You don't know what a Stratos emblem is? It, it's an emblem like that that goes on your uh, shoulder. And I'm not even sure if I'm wearing one on my Gara or I'm not. And also, you don't know what Dog Days is at this point. You can basically, like, play kind of like a PvP-type Rathum, except you're using a water gun to battle against the people, or the Grenier-ish people. And I'll clip some gameplay in here, too, for you guys to know or see how that plays out. All right.